Warning, this podcast contains Christmas in August? Should have had Christmas last month. Christmas in July is better. Good evening and welcome to Big Brother and welcome to the As Seen on TV podcast for Big Brother 18. I am your host, Big Brother historian Luke Labagnera. With me, my friend and fellow Big Brother superfan and historian Dom Greco, both coming to you live from East Haven, Connecticut. How's it going? It's going good. Congratulations tonight to me and Nicole. We are both holding the golden power of veto. Mm. So you're co veto holders? Does that work yes. like the co head of household from last week? Yeah, kind of making a little. Yeah, kind of make it a little bit of a theme from last week. It was pretty cool. But, um, anyway, tonight was a pretty epic episode. And um, just to cover something that we haven't seen in a long time, not since season 15, we have not seen the table set up, not only with the Big Brother slop, but the have-not food for the week. Remember yeah. when America used to vote to see what the have-nots will have for the week? Yeah. I mean, they showed us that it's been happening all summer. It's just something that they haven't featured. You know, they showed us, uh, they went back and showed the pies, the marshmallows. Like, this is all stuff that's been happening this season. But it's just never made it to TV yet. Right. So. Absolutely. We get the squid. And uh, I'm not a big fan of seafood, so if I was on uh, Slop, I'd be in trouble. Uh, I think I would be too, man. I mean, it's like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's like insane. Hold on, I just got something that popped up over here. I don't know if I'm going to claim this reward or not, but we'll see. But anyway, while that's loading, um, tonight was a pretty epic veto competition. We welcomed Christmas in summer. Yeah. Like, wow. And those reindeer, I remember seeing reindeer like that on that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, Jingle All the Way. That is my favorite Christmas movie. And typically, people's favorite Christmas movies are like Home Alone, you know, or, you know, some of the classics, you know, Miracle, 34th Street, stuff like that. Mine is Jingle yeah. All the Way. I watch it every every Christmas Eve. I get together and me and my cousins and we watch it. It's It's like a, it's a Christmas tradition. Right, same here. I have it on Blu-ray, and I even got to not Blu-ray. Um, on DVD, and I actually get to watch scenes that were deleted that wasn't in the final cut film. I I was watching the, uh, the edited version or the featured version that was filmed in theaters. But um, I actually getting on to own that, it on yeah, Blu-ray. But I don't. I thought I, I had know. It I know that they have it on Blu-ray. I guess I don't have it here, but I do. I do own it on Blu-ray. I just don't have it with me. No, it's cool, but hey, as long as you have it, that's really good. But those reindeer reminded me of that reindeer in the movie, and I was like, oh my god, I'm having a jingle all the way moment here. I mean, I loved the backyard theme, and this was so Corey's competition. And Corey, you really threw that veto. One billion names on the that nice list. That was really smart, though. It really was. Like It was smart. It was he, smart, but everybody was thrown off by it. Like, if he didn't do that, Nicole would have been eliminated that round. Right, no, she she's thinking, what, Corey, what? Are yeah. you serious? <laughs> yeah. Everybody's reaction was the best. I mean, they were all dumbfounded. I think more so than and their reaction to that, my favorite reaction was when Paul was like, uh, in my 28 year, how old is he? 26, 28, 23. 23. And, uh, you know, my 23 years of life, I had no idea that uh, reindeer were real. I was just like, really? Like, how do people not know this? Really? Hello, deer are real. Hello, reindeer. Like, really? how, that was kind of like, that was kind of a blonde moment for him. I'm like, come on, come on, come on. You have a beard. You don't have blonde hair. Come on now, dude. I mean, and this is not the first person that I've heard of that doesn't know reindeer. That Like, I I know many people that, that think this. And no, they're, they're real. They're They're 100% real. Yeah, and those were actual reindeer that we were looking at yeah. in the backyard. Wow. They don't fly, I mean, though. It's, they don't fly. No, naturally. That's a freaking <laughs> myth. Anybody who, anybody at our age who still believes in Santa Claus has to see a shrink. Yeah. 
I mean, that's just my opinion. I'm not saying that to be a, an asshole, but, you know, it's just true. I mean, who, I mean, kids, don't watch this. Uh, I totally <laughs> forgot kids Oops. would be watching this. Oops, yeah. We basically just blew it because you know how kids are today with technology that still believe in Santa Claus? We just blew it, I think. Oh, well. Well, you know, they're going to learn at some age, so, oh, well. But, um... Yeah, anyway, so um, Nicole kind of made the smart move tonight in not using the power of veto. She wants to keep nominations the same because she doesn't want to get any blood on her hands. So the less blood she has on her hands, the further she can get in the game. Yeah, I was just, I, I was really surprised that she didn't end up using the veto. Like, I thought she was going to backdoor uh, Victor and throw them both on the block together. And I was like, oh, this is going to be awful. Like, you know, they were toying with the idea at the end there. Um Ultimately, they decided not to do it, and I'm very, very happy. And I don't see how Michelle doesn't go home this week. I don't, you know. She's going to go home. Come on, it's obvious. I mean, if, if it's two to two, like Nicole said, she has to take a side. Nicole, stick with your target. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the less, like like I just said, the less blood you have on your hands, the further you'll get in this game. Who well, knows, I don't, next week you can be a threat. I don't see... Um, I don't see James or Natalie voting to evict Michelle. You know, they're going to vote to evict uh, Paul. Paul, Paul is and then different. Victor's not going to vote to evict Paul, right? So Corey is the only one that has the potential ability to change his mind, right? So, does, but... so Corey could vote, you know, to evict um, Paul. And if he does, then Paul could go home. Um, if Corey... That'll be a blind side towards Victor. Yeah. Um, if Corey votes to, uh, evict Michelle, it's probably gonna end up... Er, Michelle? Yeah. Michelle, uh, it'll, it'll end up in a tie. Uh, it'll and be 2-2, two, two, and then Nicole will have to break it, and she could still, you know, evict Paul. Uh... I'm hoping it doesn't go that way. I really want Paul to stay. I want Paul to win this whole game. So do I. I want I want to see Paul get further. I mean, if there had to be a final two, I'd want to see... These are the people I have in mind for final two. Um, I want to say um, Victor and um, Paul in the final two. And if not them, then I'd like to see um, James and Natalie. Or James yeah, or Paul. Yeah, that could be interesting. Yeah, that I'd like to see. I mean, we're in for a big surprise here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this should be very interesting. I mean, there wasn't... Le and there's one thing I do have to say. Michelle, how many freaking times are we going to have to hear your freaking boo-hooing? <laughs> she was crying because her microphone wasn't properly, like... Oh. What is wrong with her? Her microphone, like, hello, it's a fucking mic, just fix it. Come on, I have to laugh at this, but I'm sorry. That is pathetic. <laughs> getting, getting, crying over a microphone. Yeah. Come on, seriously? I mean, I get it, she just wanted to go to sleep, you know, and, and she's getting paged and yelled at and... You know, all this stuff, and that, that's got to be frustrating, but still. It, it, it does, but, but yeah, she's like, I'll just put it on my pillow. What the fuck? I, I don't know. Right? I have no uh, answer. No answer. I, 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 neither do I. I thought I lost you a minute there. I thought I froze. But, um, yeah, like, seriously? I mean, yeah, she did the smart thing by sticking it to her pillow. Yeah, you want to go to sleep, go to sleep. Wait a minute. They actually have to sleep with their microphones on? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, like, let her sleep. I mean, what is she doing? She's laying on her side. Just in case she talks I mean, in her sleep or something, you know, I think they have to stay mic'd or, you know, if somebody wakes up and they have a conversation and they're not mic'd, you know, that's... So I think they, they stay they mic'd to. the whole time, yeah. That's what I think, too. I think the exact same thing. Seems like their mics are waterproof, too, because it seems like they're mic'd in the shower as well. So. Yeah, well, they should be waterproof, and if they die, then they get a new one. Yep. That's simple as that. 
Uh, the events that are unfolding this week should be rather interesting. Were rather interesting. Now only holds on is to tomorrow night and see what Nicole decides. And I guess we take it from there to see whose side she takes to the final four. Yeah. Because we're down to three weeks left of this game. Yeah, it's uh, it's creeping in fast. You know, it is and creeping in fast. Michelle had mentioned, you know, season fourteen, they would have been almost done right now. You know, the right, seventy-seven start- days. Yeah, season fourteen was um was the last season they did it traditionally after the Fourth of July. Now they're doing it like longer. Mhm. Yeah, so I kind of know how she feels. She's getting frustrated. She's emotionally, she's emotionally distraught, distraught in this house. And, and she's a super I fan, the, you know, and and, and it play, pays a big toll to super fans because it you don't you think you know what it's like to be in there but you, but you clearly don't. don't you don't and it takes a big toll on you and especially if you don't have like that social game like michelle's by herself like yes she has she has nicole and james but she's by herself at the same time because nicole and james have each other or not nicole and james uh natalie and james have each other and then nicole and Corey have each other and then even though it's not like a couple thing you know paul and uh Victor have each other, you know. Right. The, these two, these three groups of twos are not going to betray them. Like, you're not going to see James turn on Natalie. You're not going to see Corey turn on Nicole, and you're not going to see Paul turn on Victor. Like, that's not going to happen. Michelle doesn't have anybody. Like, kind of. No. You know, James and and uh, Natalie. But if so, it comes down to it, if James had to choose between Natalie and Michelle, he's going to choose Natalie. All day, every day. Same goes for Michelle. Same goes for any of these couples. So, uh, Mitch is on her own. Yeah, and there's no alliances anymore. I mean, they're all in pairs now. Yeah. And and Mitch is just the odd one out. She is the odd one out. She doesn't have anybody, and maybe that's why. She just feels defeated, even though she's not giving up. She feels defeated at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you kind of feel for them. I mean, if I was a super fan and I was in her position, I'd probably be the same way because I'm a super fan of this show, and I know you are too. Yeah, now if you were Nicole, if you were in Nicole's spot, what would you do here? Would you would you have kept the nominations the same and take Michelle out, who's all alone in this game and, like, back against the wall and can't do anything? Or no. would, you, would you take out Victor or Paul? No, I won't want to get any blood on my hands. I didn't want. I wouldn't want there to be a blind side. I would want to go into the next week feeling calm and cool and fresh for another week. I don't want. I like. I don't want to get any blood on my hands as an HOH. That's just my thing. I want. I, I would stick with Nicole's decision and not change the nominations. I probably would have taken a shot at at Victor and Paul if I was her because. Yeah, yeah, but then that gets blood on your own hands. It and does. How far is that? you in the game it does but if you if the other people in the house have your back like she's got this side alliance supposedly with with james and natalie they they don't know that they've possibly been betrayed you know they're thinking oh maybe but james just even said oh after you know seeing what nicole did today i i can trust her you know i i have confidence in in our final four deal or whatever so she she's got the two of them on their side. So if she evicted, say Paul or Victor, let's say let's say Paul went home this time, right? And it's Victor up there. You have right. She would literally have everyone in the house on her side except for Paul, right? She would have James. She would have Natalie. She would have Michelle, and obviously Corey. You know, so none of those people are gonna vote her out for for taking a big target like that. So no, you know, so. I think she made a mistake from a gameplay point of view for her own game. She made a mistake. She should have uh, taken Meech off the the block and put up Victor. That, I think, is a huge mistake on her part. Personally, for my viewing pleasure, I'm glad she didn't do that because I want these people to stay in the house. But for her own game, she fucked up. I guess you're right on that one. I mean, it makes sense, you know, to, you know, I could see it from a viewer's point of view, but in the house, it's a different story. You have a different strategy. We're thinking on two minds here. Right. Um, do we cover everything? Is there more that needs to be covered? Um, or no? Yes. Uh, 
Corey ended up not using the bribe, so the BB bribe was put down the drain as of right now. Uh, he, he still has an opportunity to use it, and I don't know why he's not thinking, um, you know, along the lines of, uh, hey, Victor, do you want some free money? Well, vote Michelle out, because you're going to do that anyway. Here's free money, you know? Well, that would be an easy solution, so that way that the last BB care package wouldn't have been a waste, but I don't know. It, it, I think, I don't know what I don't know what Corey's thinking right now. I think he's doing what's best for his game. I think I've also read on the live feeds that when he gets out of the house, he's going to go his own way. He just had a recent breakup before he went into the house, and he kind of wants to go his own way, and I think he's going to, like, not cut all ties with Nicole, but I don't think he's going to take a further relationship. According to what I've read. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, this is this is just stuff I've read that are on the live feeds. I don't know how true they are because naturally we don't see this on the show. Because right. I don't have access to the live feeds. And I know you don't either. Only Danny is the one that has that. Right. But other than that, you know, we'll see what takes it further in the game. I mean, I don't know. I mean, the, the game is a mystery. We have to expect the unexpected at this point because we're down to... You know, only three weeks left until finale night. Yep. And we're going to be closing to another epic summer of Big Brother. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. And it's, it was. I, I have to say, it was a little bit better than season 17. But other than that, though, I am kind of up in the clouds right now with the full access episodes on whether we're going to do that or not. But we're going to discuss that further, maybe towards finale night. Yeah. And see, like, as, as far as weeks and, and stuff go for entertainment next week is going to be the big week and that's going to that's going to depend on that's going to decide wh which way the house swings depending who gets yes. in you know in charge because say michelle goes home as planned right mm -hmm. whoever wins is going to knock out the third group yes right so if victor and paul wins you know they're gonna be safe. The Victor and Paul theme is gonna, our group is gonna work. They're they're gonna make it to final five, whatever. And yeah, you know, then it's they're gonna have to choose whether they want to work with with uh, Corey and Nicole or if they're gonna work with uh, Natalie and James. So whoever you know they don't work with, that group's gone. Right. That's Same right. thing with with if Corey wins. Right then, he's gonna have to pick a side. You know, he is, he's not gonna take Nicole out. So no, this next week is going to be the big week to decide which way the house goes. So that, I'm looking. I I can't wait to see how this is gonna play out. Really. Yep. Well, well, I think we basically covered everything. So, who will be evicted from the Big Brother house? Michelle or Paul, and the power is back up for grabs in an all-new battle for head of household. It all happens Thursday, live, 9, 8 central on Big Brother. Dom, where can the people find you? Uh, you can find me down below at Phenomenon, P-H-E-N-O-M-E-D-O-M. -E -E you can find me down below on Twitter at Zupa23, Z-U-P-A-23. Dom, take it away. You can find us all and more on Facebook, Gmail, G+, Twitter, <coughs> and right here on YouTube at Slash ASO TV Podcast. It's more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows, games, and movies. From outside the Big Brother house, I am Luke Labagnera. This is Don Greco. We're both coming to you live from East Haven, Connecticut. Good night.